right, we're going to do something fun now. We've done this uh, before. You, you've seen this on talk shows. It's a staple. Uh, but it's a classic, ladies and gentlemen. It's something we call actual items. And here's how it works. We, uh, we have a, uh, a great group of researchers that look through magazines and newspapers, and they cut out articles and stuff. Maybe it's a typo. Maybe it's just some unfortunate phrasing. Maybe something went wrong at the printer. But it's hilarious. It's funny. And the great thing is it's real. You can't make it up. You wouldn't want it. That would be wasting everyone's time. <laughs> so we're going to show you some of these right now. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. First of all, it's an ad from the, uh, the Tallahassee Times in Tallahassee, Florida. It's an ad for frozen pizza. And it looks like a very normal ad for uh, DiGiorno's frozen pizza, two for $8. That's on sale. Everything looked fine, but look what it says right here. It says, the only microwavable pizza recognized as the official shame of Italy. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good thing to call your product, but whatever. <laughs> Next up is an ad from the Pleasantville Post in Pleasantville, New York. It's an ad for exercise equipment. Exercise equipment right there, and uh, $99.99 gets you that one on the bottom right there. And everything looks fine with this ad, but then look what it says right here. It says, the only workout equipment considered too gay by Richard Simmons. <laughs> and look at that guy. <laughs> look at that guy. That guy, that guy's like, oh, I'm all tied up. <laughs> I'm helpless. I'm gonna buy me one of those. All right, here we go. This next ad is from the Chapel Hill Herald in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It's an ad for a little bicycle trailer that kids can ride in. You've seen these. Put your kid in the back and everything's fine. But look at the kid in the trailer. This really bothered me. I. <laughs> Him. Poor Hussein. He's like, oh no, where are they taking me now? <laughs> All right, then, here we go. Next up's an ad from the Decatur Dispatch in Decatur, Indiana. It's an ad for detergent. Nice looking ad there for detergent, all detergent. Real nice. Everything that cleans, it softens. And they have a little cute baby chick here. Look at the baby chick is saying, though. He's saying, someday I'll be a McNugget. <laughs> And everyone's happy again. Because <laughs> that baby chick is going to die. <laughs> I had an unhappy childhood, and you have to pay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Here's an ad from the Blacksburg Tribune in Blacksburg, Virginia. It's an ad for Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Features some of their famous names right here. Check it out over here. They have Cherry Garcia, named after Jerry Garcia. Dave Matthews Band's Magic Brownies after the Dave Matthews Band. But look at this last one, Wilford Brimley's Stinky Old Feet. I just don't think that's right. There's a lot of nugget in there, that's all I know. <laughs> he had an unhappy childhood and you gotta pay. All right, here we go. Wow, wow, yeah. yeah! All right, all right, all right. The Cossacks are coming. Here we go. This next one's from the Darien Sun in Darien, Connecticut. It's an ad for cute little Hummel figurines. Oh, aren't they cute right there? Little boy and girl warming themselves right there by the stove. Isn't this sweet? But look what it says here. It says... Berta Hummel's classic sculpture, freezing to death. <laughs> I got an unhappy childhood and you got a pain. <laughs> Incredible sense of rhythm. <laughs> These people are fantastic. And finally, we have one from the Rochester Review in Rochester, New York. It's an ad for... Laughing Cow Cheese. We all heard of this brand, La the Laughing Cow brand of cheese. And there's a little laughing cow in the corner. But look what the laughing cow is saying. He says, the cow's laughing because it's really a bull. Enjoy your wang cheese, sucker. <laughs> Thank 
We'll take a break. When we come back, Michael Chiklis is here. Stick around.